The next graph we're going to make is a bar graph. So we're going to have to start a new Google Sheet. In a bar graph, we have one continuous variable and at least one discrete variable. Now on our worksheet, we see that the discrete variable is the type of snake. So I'm going to make that one column. The other column is the mortality percentage. Go ahead, take a few minutes and input your data. Once you have your data entered, once again, highlight the data, click on the insert chart. Now again, this is going to give you some recommendations. We do want a bar graph, so it's the gives us a, a great choice for that bar graph. And as I take a look at it, we have a, a mortality percentage versus type of snake, uh, which almost what we want. If we look at the heading on our worksheet, uh, it is the mortality percentage of observed snakes. So let's change that. We have mortality percentage on the y-axis, that's our dependent variable. Type of snake on the x-axis, that is our independent variable. Uh, everything looks pretty good here. We don't need to really make any more changes unless maybe like a different colors. Let's try, we'll do red, red for the mortality percentages. Insert. I'm going to copy that chart. I am going to go to my organizing data worksheet and insert my graph. All right, we just have one more to go and that is the histogram.